Hello and welcome to another at home art challenge. Today's art challenge is going to be laundry day collage. It is a continuation of our Anywhere Artist series. So if you missed my read aloud of the awesome book Anywhere Artist, you might want to go check that out. So this makes a little bit more sense. But basically the premise is or the idea is that we are artists anywhere. Doesn't matter what supplies we have. Our world is our studio. So as a disclaimer, no laundry was harmed during the creation of these collages and no laundry should be harmed in the creation of your collages. So your first step is going to be decide on your subject or your color scheme, kind of get some inspiration going and then go on a laundry hunt. I discovered a few things getting different values, tints, shades of colors was a really way to, good way to go. Also, smaller pieces of laundry seem to work better, especially socks. If you have kind of solid color um, socks, my kiddos play soccer, so I was able to use a lot of their soccer socks, and that was really helpful. They were easy to work with. Um, then you're going to start twisting, folding, shaping all of the laundry. Um, if the shirt has too much stuff on it, you can turn it inside out. That was a helpful tip as well. Um, I decided that I was going to make thunder, thunder, missing school so much that I will kind of having some school spirit here and um, expressing that through my art. So thunder seemed like the best um, subject for me again. Um, a lot of the same things we talk about when we're painting or drawing apply to this laundry collage. So it's really good fun practice as artists to get creative with different media. Um, you can see I did a revision here where I was like, oh, he'll be fine with some white eyes. And then I decided, no, he needed that pop of green in his eyes. So I went back and fixed that. Easy to do with these laundry sculptures. Um, I also thought about shape versus form. Remember, shape is the two-dimensional version of form. So if you have a circle, that's the shape. And then the form of that would be like a sphere. So um, we really get to think a lot about this as being kind of a three-dimensional, two-dimensional piece. Um, also think about your background. Think about all that layering. We always talk about layering when we're um, mixing colors. You kind of get to um, play with that sculpting power here as well. Here is my daughter, Miss E. She decided to do a landscape version with a tree. Um, I think she did really cool with all those different values of green. And then she added the pop of the sun. And look at those cool rays she did with the socks. And my favorite part is the way she layered the ground to show that horizon line. She had a little pattern going there. And just to prove that I am not crazy, I'm going to show you some of my favorite ones that came from um, the internet. So look at this super cool one with all the black, gray, white values um, portrait. I bet this one is just huge. I think it looks like it would take up a whole room. And then Starry Night. How cool is that? Looks like they got some scarves in there and the sock idea seemed to work pretty well for them. And we got to end off on Baby Yoda. <laughs> uh, they did a really good job folding here so we got nice clean lines with this I think that's really cool so I cannot wait to see what you guys come up with be sure to upload it to Art Sonia and um, be entered in that weekly drawing for fun art supplies sent from Amazon have a great day